everything showers are an essential part of my week at this point if you aren't familiar with the concept of an everything shower it's essentially just what it sounds like it's a shower where you do everything and do the extra steps you don't always do i love having the opportunity to take a little bit of extra time and really focus on making my body feel good paying extra attention to my hair and my skin and just doing kind of the whole nine yards of my routine today i'm going to show you my everything shower routine from my hair oiling to my in shower routine all of the products that i use how i exfoliate and shave and my skincare routine how i stay smelling good the perfumes that i like to use and everything that i do each week to keep myself feeling and smelling really good let's go get started with some hair oiling and i will show you how i prep my hair for wash day the first thing that I like to do is detangle my hair. So I use the Tangle Teaser brush. I really like this brush because it feels soft on your head. It doesn't pull too much. So I just brush through all of my hair and my hair is wavy, so it does get frizzy when I do this. The next thing that I do is oil my hair. I use jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, and rosemary oil. These help to keep my scalp healthy. The rosemary oil can help stimulate hair growth and so can the castor oil. And I just take that brush bottle applicator and comb it through all of my roots and kind of massage it in. And to get an even deeper massage, I use this scalp brush. It helps to stimulate your scalp and again, promote healthy hair growth. Then I like to add some oil to my ends as well. So this is jojoba oil. It makes my hair so soft and it's kind of lightweight so it's not too heavy. I leave this in for 30 minutes to a few hours. I feel like no shower is complete without a good playlist, especially an everything shower because it is very time consuming and honestly kind of tiring. But I start by wetting my hair really thoroughly and then doing my first shampoo, which I'm using this Shea Moisture one. It's really moisturizing. And I shampoo honestly two to three times because I wanna make sure that my hair is really clean and fully getting the benefits from the shampoos. So the second and third shampoos I use, which I actually mixed together was the Amika Mirror Ball shampoo and the Eva NYC Tone It Down Purple shampoo. I'm really liking the Amika Soul Food hair mask. It's super thick, super hydrating. I also use the Amika Mirror Ball conditioner and some of the Eva NYC Tone It Down hair mask. And I try to avoid my roots and mostly just apply it to my ends so that it doesn't weigh my hair down. I like to clip it up while I'm doing my body care and I do double cleanse my body as well. So this is the Tree to Tub Soap Berry Body Wash. I'll use a silicone body brush and just scrub all over my body, get everything super clean. And then I like to go in and wash my body a second time just to get fully clean. For body scrub, I've been loving this one from Pacha Soaps, and I use that to prep for shaving, which I like to use the EOS shaving cream, and I'm currently using a Billy razor. Because I have wavy, curlyish hair, doing my hair care immediately after I get out of the shower is crucial. I like to keep as much water as possible in my hair. It's two leave-in conditioners, and then I also use this Shea Moisture Mousse and the Kinky Curly Gel. I love getting cozy after an everything shower. I'm wearing a cute little satin pajama set and a robe. And then I do my body care, which I'm currently using the Avalon Organics Body Lotion, the Elba Botanica Hawaiian Body Oil, and this Truly Cake Maker Body Butter that I use like on my legs. And it makes them so soft after shaving. Then I like to put on some perfume. This is a really nice perfume oil. It just makes me smell so good. I literally love taking everything showers because after I just feel so clean. My skin is so soft. My face feels amazing. My hair smells good. I smell good. Sometimes in my everything shower routine, I'll even include like doing kind of extra skincare things like doing a face mask or doing eye patches or something, or I will even do like teeth whitening and that sort of thing. Or sometimes even like hand or feet masks. Like that can be kind of fun to throw in but I think it's fun to take these kind of showers sometimes usually for me this is like once a week I'm still waiting for my hair to dry but I also love putting on something that's like smooth and satin after my shower because that way as my hair is running over it it like keeps my hair from getting frizzy so I often
often like to wear satin robes as well. Also, if you want to smell really good, my favorite thing to do is obviously kind of choose the same scents in your shower products. I really love like coconut. And so a lot of times I'll kind of layer coconut scented things. So like my body wash has like coconuts in it and then my body oil is coconut. And I love vanilla too. So when I, I use that Truly Body Butter and it's like coconut and vanilla and then I just smell really good. I also just got this little set and I love it. It was at TJ Maxx. It has hearts in the lace here and like hearts on the lace here. Oh my gosh, I'm so pretty. TJ Maxx has such great sleep sets like a lot of the time. <laughs> Since my skin is already cleansed, I'm starting by going in with the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. This just helps keep your skin even more hydrated, so I really like pairing it with this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. I apply it all over to my face, lips, eyelashes, eyebrows, everywhere basically. Let it dry and then go in with this Coco Kind Vitamin C Glow Serum. I love this and I love using it during the daytime. It's just really brightening on my skin. For eye cream, I'm using the BU Caffeine Eye Cream. And then for moisturizer, the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. This one's really nice. It's not too heavy, but definitely keeps your skin hydrated. For SPF, I like the Coco Kind Daily SPF because it's a physical sunscreen, but the white cast is pretty minimal. Pacifica Lavender Moon Lip Mask is my favorite lip product. Absolutely love it. Perfume is obviously a key to smelling really good. Layering a perfume oil with a perfume like spray is so good and it's such a great way to keep the scent lasting. I have this one. This is the Nemat Amber Fragrance Oil, but I want to get honestly more flavors. This one's really like warm and it smells really good and musky, but I also kind of want one that's a little bit more like florally and fruity because I love fruity fragrances as well. I use the Sol de Janeiro 68. This is like Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. I use this as just like a body spray. It's not super concentrated obviously, but this one is like fruity. It smells honestly in my opinion I like it way better than this one. I'll wear this one in the fall and stuff But I like really prefer this one out of all the Sol de Janeiro ones. Yeah, it just smells sweet and like good Ariana Grande cloud is so good if you want to smell like cotton candy and like sugar super sweet This is like a go-to for me I've been using it for years and years and years all three of these are in the same fragrance family in my opinion They all have really similar notes so this is a juliet has a gun and not a perfume this one i like to put on after a shower it's like this clean but not soapy smell it's like a clean musky smell and i love musk like that's one of my favorite notes in fragrance so i love this but i think i actually like the glossier you a little bit more they're similar though they have like the similar profile this one's spicier though this one has like pink peppercorn in it i think so this one's a little bit spicier but they're both musky and this one's really affordable it's from target it's the mix bar brand of and it's called cloud musk this one smells not as spicy as Glossier U. Like a little bit sweeter. I think these kind of smell more similar, but they're all in the same musky like family. Miss Dior. Ugh. I love this. This is the EDP. It definitely smells, in my opinion, more classy. It smells more like professional. I also have Ari by Ariana Grande. The bottle is so cute. This one honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of Miss Dior, but it's a little bit sweeter. But they're honestly, they, they like kind of remind me of each other. Those are some of my most worn fragrances. There's two that I absolutely love that I've only had samples of and don't have the bottles. Delina, so, so good. I am like absolutely going to be buying it. The other one is Diptyque O Rose. I don't usually love like florals as much as I love like fruity perfumes. I love the O Rose. Like it's so good and every time I put it on I'm like this is amazing. So just a little perfume overview. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's like a little bit different than normal and a little bit quick but I've been wanting to film this for a while so comment this emoji if you watched all the way up until this point. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.